Welcome back and uh, in this session we will be learning about tuples. I hope you have been able to practice, follow along and type your own code. Now in this session we will be learning about uh, tuples. So tuples in Python are very similar to lists. Uh, however, unlike lists they are immutable. Uh, just like strings are immutable, uh, so are uh, tuples and they cannot be changed. Now you would be using tuples sometimes to present something that needs to maintain a data integrity, just like an account number or a social security number. So you don't want any object to come and change it. It could also be used for protecting dates on a calendar or days of a week, uh, some places where you don't want uh, to actually save uh, or change or have any other program or, or a function come and manipulate that. Those are the situations where you use tuples. In this section, uh, we'll get a brief overview of constructing tuples. Uh, we look at basic tuple methods. We'll understand about immutability and when to use tuples. So let's look at uh, how to construct some tuples, all right? Great, now let's construct some uh, tuples as an example. Uh, I'm gonna call a variable t and assign it a tuples of uh, uh, one, two, and three, which, uh, and we can also create uh, tuples with mixed types, that's not a problem. Now, I'm going to call the same, run the same methods, let's say length, uh, that way, the way we used to do it, so there are three elements, and you can also mix it with other objects, so for example, uh, we can say t is equal to, oops, uh, I can say one, and then say three, so, uh, t also will print that out for you. Uh, then we can call indexing the same way and then we can do uh, slicing. You got that and uh, there are certain basic tuple methods if I want to know the index of uh, 1 then it tells me that index is 0 and uh, I can get the num count or let's try to take this and change it to now I want to see how many times the letter one one is printed I will use the count method for that and pass the parameter that I want you to count this object and it's repeated uh, twice so I really want to stress that uh, tuples are immutable uh, let's see an example. So if I try to take this to uh, first object is 0 and I want to change it uh, to let's say something okay and it will return an error that it does not support uh, changes. So this is an error again of type uh, that tells us that uh, because of immutability tuples can't grow. So once a tuple is made unless you take it and write it again in your program, you cannot use any method or anything else to uh, add to it. So that's how it works. So I try to append, let's see what happens. I want to use a method on it, for example, and I will say, let's say I'm just going to say orange, and oops, append. Now it tells us that it has no attribute and it cannot append. So you might be wondering why bother using tuples when they have so many fewer available methods. Uh, but uh, honestly, tuples are not uh, used as often as lists in programming, but we do use them when immutability is necessary. So like I said, when you have to handle account numbers over large data sets or you want to extract something that should not be changed and scenarios like where data integrity becomes very important, you use tuples and uh, let, so be it that we use them seldom or rarely or very little but it's very important that we use them. So I hope you understood what tuples is and that's all there is to learn about tuples. Um, do practice them, uh, try, try it out and next up let's learn about files.